Daytona kicked off the 2023 ATV motocross season, and it was an army of Yamahas up front early and down. But defending series champion Joel Hetrick did what he needed to do, establishing the early lead. Leaving Bryce Ford and Chad Wienan to battle for second. Wienan used an aggressive line in the inside to pass the number four to get to the runner-up position and try to keep Hetrick honest. But the champ knew what he needed to do, and he got away. Looking to capture Daytona for the second year in a row. The rest of the field battles, equipment problems, and bad luck for the likes of Brandon Hogue. It's the same type of thing that used to strike Hetrick at this race, but this time he was fine. And he rolled to victory. And now we roll to Gatorback, a long-standing member of the series, returning for the first time in a while. Oh, this is going to be good. We are back at Gatorback. Been a long time since the popular place in Gainesville, Florida has hosted an ATV National Motocross race, but they are ready. It is prepped. And these guys are excited about it because so many of the riders actually spend their off season in Florida anyway. So to go back to back Daytona and Gainesville, it's going to be great. So they put the nice dressing on the facility, make it look like a national championship. There's the smiles of Joel Hetrick there. And we welcome our amateurs back into competition. The Daytona race does not have the full complement of classes. So this is actually the season opener for most of the divisions, except for the pro and pro sport riders. And to commemorate the return to Gatorback, we held a media day, gave the riders a chance to learn the track. But it's all under the guise that they're there for the photos and the video folks for their own social media and to get the local fans to know that we're going racing. Let's talk to our podium finisher and our opener. Here's Bryce Ford. Hey guys, we're here at Gatorback. It's my first time ever to ride this track. You know, really excited to ride this. The weather looks good. Um, coming off a lot of momentum in Daytona, so I'm just looking forward to keeping the momentum going and, and uh, hopefully get back on the podium and keep it rolling into Texas. Yes, the next race will be a home race for the Ford brothers. You want to talk about how long we have not raced at Gatorback? Let Chad Weenan tell you. Making our way here to Gatorback. Uh, last time I raced here was uh, 17 years ago, and I raced in the pro class then, and uh, we're having a great welcome back. Track's really good for us today. Looking forward to uh, the, the gate drop. Uh, the whole shot's gonna be all important key, but man, uh, feeling good coming out of the gate. We're gonna try and put ourselves on a good position and get on that podium. Yeah, just coming off of Daytona. Had a good showing there, came out second. We're gonna try to push forward into our race here, and uh, just having a lot of fun here at Gatorback. Well, let's really have some fun and unleash them with the stopwatch. Yes, they did get to ride that media session yesterday, but now we're doing it in anger. Got the dirt looking really good here. Way back, Gatorback was pretty sandy. And it turned pretty hard packed, but you see they've really managed the soil well here, throwing down some water, and it looks good, at least for qualifying. We'll see how it turns out in the motos once all the amateurs lay down tracks as well. There was Bryce Ford and Weenan. You gotta watch out for Rastrelli. He is a born and bred Florida native. So you know he wants to do well here. Nick Janusa on the 15 out of New Jersey, riding very well. That's Logan Stanfield airing it out there. Max Linkwitz seventh at Daytona, definitely not what he wanted. Look for a bounce back today. Decker on the 23. Man, I love the look of that machine with the orange trim. That's Brandon Hogue going by, third in the series last year. Had some hard luck at Daytona, so he wants to bounce back as well. Kevin Starr, the European Pro ATV champion over in the series this year, the 311. We'll see how he does today. Michael already to the top. They still call it the elevator jump here. There's Cody Ford going by. Merman as well. Cesar Jimenez on the 101. Then our rookies, Aaron Salinas, Dane Molander on the Suzuki. And here's Adam Ulrich on his number 68. And a Honda sighting. Andrew Scaddle and John Glad will round out your field. Joel Hetrick is your fastest qualifier, and we're ready for racing. 
ATV Motocross on MAV-TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. And by CST Tires. Pumped to be back at Gatorback outside of Gainesville, Florida. Show you what the amateurs were doing on this track. Weather actually turned out okay. Well, it was cloudy, but actually that helps in a way. Keeps the track in good condition and keeps the temperatures down. Then the rain came all together. That became the theme of the day, just on and off rain. See Hogue getting ready there, Jimenez, they went for the mud prep. And that really became the key to try to adapt to the changing conditions but Joel Hetrick does not appear worried. Qualifier was really good. Going back and forth with times uh, with me and Hogue and Chad maybe a little bit. I think towards the end I got I got a little gap. Just figured some stuff out, figured some different lines out. Did some uh, adjustments on the bike too, which really helped. And the machine's working so good that it uh, it makes it a little easier on me to go fast. So I'm pumped on it. I feel good and you know I'm ready to go out there and get racing. Yes, so are we. So let's do it. Riders selecting their gates for our first race at Gatorback. What did Chad Whedon say? 17 years since he's raced this event? I'm not joking. There are riders on the line who were barely even born at that time. Let's go racing. Hedrick and Whedon, a big pile up in the first turn. Oh, that is a disaster right there. Are they okay? And what is going to transpire now at the riders who have hogged? Sheesh, feels like 99% of the race wins over the last decade are now at least in the back, if not out of this race. Well, here's Hetrick, he's back. Oh, but look at that, holding his arm, and then he almost goes off the side of the racetrack. Where's Weenan? Wow. I believe Jeffrey Rastrelli is in the lead here at his home race in Florida, and he is hooked up and flying. We're on board with Hogue with the Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board. So Rastrelli is at Ford battling him. Nice move. So Bryce Ford into the lead. Zach Decker right behind him in third. Rastrelli trying to come back. Wants to win it for the home fans. He's not going to give it up without a fight. Split line section there. Oh, I thought Rastrelli could get him back. And you hear the crowd there along the fence line cheering this. It is a wide open day now that the contenders are in the back. Oh, Rastrelli, the inside line works over the finish line. Jump now, and he's back into the lead. And Zach Decker saw some signs of this last year, and he has picked up right where he left off. He actually runs into the back of Ford. I thought he had the pass made. Then not too far back, you have Hogue as well. We did see Weenan back on the machine as well, so he and he and Hedrick are going to try to make their way from the back, but opportunity is there for these three to get a key moto win. Hedrick now up to 15th from 17th. I cannot believe what has transpired here. Let's see if Ford can Bryce go back after your leader, Restrella. You bet he's right there on the rear tires. Fun to hear them go to the whoops. There is Weenan. So again, he's up. Ah, he's got to be banged up or hurting at least. I hope it's not more serious than that. Nick Janusa is the rider in fourth. Hogue, who we had the onboard with, he's in a battle around seventh place. And Bryce Ford just keeps trying to figure out a way to get to the lead. He's working inside, outside. Zach Decker. He almost used that same inside line to get into second. That's what Rastrelli used to get to the lead. Hedrick has caught the pack. He's looking to make passes in bunches now. And Rastrelli starting to get away. What has gotten into Zach Decker today? Maybe the best ride we've ever seen him put in. It's awesome stuff here in the Sunshine State. Hogue under pressure from Aaron Salinas. Michael Allred having a good run as well. We mentioned Nick Janusa. There is Hedrick starting to catch this pack. Can he be top 10 before it's over even? And Ford's not done. He's still looking for a way around Rastrelli. I mean, this is everything. This is an opportunity for the overall today. Because I don't think, I don't think Hedrick or Wienan is going to get far enough up the field here, even if they win Moto2, to have a shot at it. And you can see these two are going at it with everything on the line. 
Pogue dealing with Linquist now. Oh, Gatorback has brought the drama today. Who's going to grab a T-Moto win? It's Joe Hetrick. He's just trying to get some points. We are back to a wild race day, ATV Motocross, here on Map TV. And Bryce Ford down to the inside. Bryce Ford. Oh, I thought he had the lead. He couldn't do that jump from the inside. Now Zach Decker looking to take second away. Decker has done it. Zach Decker's got a shot today. Same thing with Janusa in fourth. And now Ford comes back on Decker. Fantastic action. And Janusa just keeps creeping up on this group while they battle each other. A four rider battle at the halfway mark. And good job by our onboard rider, Brandon Hogue. He has climbed up to fifth. He's been in a battle of his own all day long. Hedrick now top 10 in ninth. It's been a little slower getting through traffic for Wienan, but he is still circulating. Can Rastrelli hold on? This would be so big in front of the hometown fans to grab a moto win. I honestly don't know. Have any of these guys won motos before? It would at least be the first ever overall win for either, either of these riders that are running in the top four right now. So that's why they just keep pounding on each other, just working hard, trying to keep Rastrelli in sight. Four to look over his shoulder. He sees Decker. As they launch to the top of Gator back, and then comes Hogue. All by himself now. Weenan in 18th. He looks like he's hurting. Not hurting his Ford. He's right back with Rastrelli. He's been trying this line the whole race. This time he might have it greased, and he does. Ford has rallied back, so they passed each other three times. Ford gets Rastrelli. Rastrelli gets Ford. And the goggles come off. Ford gets him back. And he was eating so much roost back there. He's got to run and hide. It's all on the line right now. Can Rastrelli fight back? Does he have anything left? Ford is getting away. Did I see a little bit of smoke coming out of the machine, though? Oh, you'd be heartbroken if something were to go wrong now. Janusa and Decker still having a great battle for third, but here it is. One lap to go, and Moore looks over the shoulder. Ford is a big enough lead, but you know you got to be paranoid when you have an opportunity like this. This Moto win could set you up for an overall. Hetrick has somehow gotten all the way to seventh, but that still would make the math very difficult for him to win the race today, even if he wins moto number two. And Zach Decker, he would love a podium finish. Great ride. Weenan is just out there trying to salvage some points. He has got to be hurting. And that was a wild first turn. The wheels colliding with Hedrick and Weenan, and we have just not seen that. They've raced each other hard for a long time. I mean, that's first turn. That's incidental when that happens. That's just two riders going for the start. And the finish, here it is, a massive moto win for Bryce Ford. And a podium moto score for Decker, who holds off Janusa and Hogue. What's gonna happen in moto two? Hetrick ended up seventh, Weenan 17th. So this is the day, if someone wants to get an overall, who's going to respond to the challenge in moto two? Hetrick this time controls it, and everyone stays upright through turn one. Rastrelli is right there in second. Michael Allred third. If you're Rastrelli, this is where you want to be. You've got to beat Ford in this moto to take the overall. If you're Ford, it's got to be roll reversal, and Ford is in fourth. Oh, it's going to be a great battle. You know what Hetrick wants to do. Run and hide. Get as many points back as he possibly can. After a near disaster in Moto 1, lucky to escape relatively unhurt and to finish up in seventh. And he is starting to roll away from Rastrelli. Now it's on the line. Ford has gotten around all red. Here comes Linquist down to the inside. Where is Chad Weenan? 
We have now heard Weenan is out for the rest of the day. Oh, John Glauda is out. That looks to be equipment problems. Weenan has pain in his shoulder there, suspecting a collarbone. And he raced that entire first moto and finished with a broken collarbone. Unbelievable, the heart that these two have showed today. Hetrick and Weenan a little bit different, might I say, lightly. Oh, we're going over that hay bale there for Hetrick. With the hay bale pushing into the race line. A little bit different story, to say the least. With the riders that are perennial, perennially battling for this championship in the race wins, but they're also showing all sorts of heart. And Rastrelli is keeping Hedrick in sight, and he has to, because he has to stay away from Ford. The only hope that Rastrelli has to win the overall, either he's going to have to pass Hedrick and put a rider between he and Ford, or he has to hope that pack back there swallows up Ford, and Ford loses one more spot. As it stands right now, Ford's going to win the overall with 1-3 moto scores, and that would be absolutely huge for him. Zach Decker, oh, what has happened? He went absolutely flying. There must have been a mechanical problem there. I mean, he overshot the landing by 20 feet, and now the red flags are out. After a career best moto earlier today, just launched into the flat, and not even the best ATV can handle a landing like that. Oh, that is horrible. Just been one of those days. First, the big first turn crash that has taken out Chad Weenan and now this. And Ford is gaining on Rastrelli. I got to collect my bearings after that one. Zach Decker, you hope he's okay. Ford is in hot pursuit of Rastrelli. And they are putting Decker on the backboard, telling the riders not to jump that section. We're going to sort this out. We'll be right back. Rastrelli and Ford battling for second. ATV Motocross is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com and by CST Tires. Joel Hetrick continues to roll here at Gatorback. Rastrelli and Ford still battling tooth and nail for second. And the pass has been made, but not for long. Love that split line, and it puts Rastrelli back into the number two spot. Wow. Now, before we went to break, Zach Decker, our third place finisher in Moto One, just shot to the moon and landed way beyond the landing of that big jump in the back. He is out of this race, suspected broken femur. Get well soon to him. Rastrelli and Ford battling. Ford, by my calculations, is going to win today's overall anyway, but points are paid out with each individual moto. So, honestly, Ford is looking at his first ever overall win and the points lead. And that's because Hedrick won round one, but a bad first moto today. Ford on the podium at round one, looking for the win today. Still leaning on Rastrelli, though. Gonna use this inside again. Watch Rastrelli on the outside. He did it before. He's able to double over the top and reclaim the spot. These two have put on two of the best motos you will ever see. Going back and forth. Ford's still going for it. Rastrelli pulling away just a smidge. Janusa. He could inherit the podium today. Hogue right behind him, getting sideways. Will the math work out for Hedrick to take that third place spot? Be looking at a 7-1. And there you can see the huge gap Hedrick has opened up. Rastrelli and Ford still fighting, and this time, Ford wrestles the lead away. Two to go. Well, I should say lead, it's overall lead, not the moto lead. Hedrick is gone. Back to this Janusa and Hogue battle. I believe that would determine fourth overall. Hedrick is looking at third overall. What a day, what a recovery for Joel Hedrick. It could have all come undone. As Janusa and Hogue battle, now white flag is out. And I think 
I think it's over. I think Ford has managed to win that battle for second, and with the one-two scores, he is going to be the overall winner for the first time in his career. Hedrick, a valent comeback, 7-1 on the day. Look at this. Just no giving up between Janusa and Hoag for this fourth place spot. And Janusa just able to hold him at bay. Checkered flag is out, Hedrick recovers, takes the second moto win, but here it is. Bryce Ford is a winner in Pro Motocross. That is awesome. Get well soon, Zach Decker, and here is your winner. What's up, everybody? We just got done with our second moto at Gatorback. Uh, we rode a really good race. It was super fun battling. Uh, now I'm the points leader, and I got my first ever overall win. Super pumped on that, and uh, really excited to keep this momentum going into my home race at Underground. See you guys there. Yeah, just uh, a little unfortunate. I'm a little down. Could have got my first overall today, you know, being in front of Bryce and him getting around me both motos. But uh, we had two good starts, and uh, yeah, second place isn't too bad to, to start out the year. You know, we're up there in points, and uh, it's going to be a good year. And uh, I'm just going to keep plugging, plugging away, and uh, uh, keep moving forward. Got the whole shot and uh, led every lap. Felt really good to do that. You know, after the first moto, I really needed that for points, and uh, just finished up on the podium, which was surprising. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, we're over here at my trailer because I was checking on Zach Decker. He had a pretty bad crash and, you know, wanted to make sure he's okay. So, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a tough day for me, but podium's a podium. I'm happy with that. We'll move on to Texas. It all started here. Weenan and Hedrick collide in turn one, and it will be a broken collarbone for Weenan. Hedrick would work his way all the way back to seventh. Up front, a tremendous battle. Zach Decker, Bryce Ford. There is Weenan trying to work his way back. Rastrelli led, Ford gets by him. Rastrelli able to fight back, and it went right down to the line, and Ford a key moto win. Decker was very happy to take that third place. We go to moto number two. Hedrick gets out front of Rastrelli and Ford early, and Zach Decker, a huge crash. And that slowed the field up for a bit. A broken femur for him. Hope he's okay beyond that. And Ford able to take the measure of Rastrelli late again and a good battle between Hogue and Janusa as well. There it is, Bryce Ford, your points leader heading into his home race in Texas on a wild day. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching.